No matter where your adventure takes you in Starfield, one thing is very likely to remain as a constant. You're going to need money, and a whole lot of it. From starship upgrades to weapon improvements and the cost of ammo, there are tons of ways to spend your hard-earned credits. So if you're looking to make some moolah quickly, here are our top recommendations for doing just that in Starfield. In a massive RPG where you're given nigh limitless freedom, it might sound a bit lame to suggest you should make a beeline for the handful of canned faction quest lines that railroad you along a specific string of quests. But these are honestly some of the fastest ways to make large sums of money early on. Enlist with the Vanguard in New Atlantis, apply for the job opening at Ryujin Industries in Neon, sign up with the Freestar Collective in Aquila City, or get yourself arrested for an opportunity to join the Crimson Fleet. Just when do you plan to sleep between this and everything else? All of these stories have lots of opportunities to earn vast sums of money just by completing a sequence of fairly straightforward quests. It certainly helps that these quests are some of the best to be found in Starfield, and come with unique weapons, armor, and even free ranks and skills as an added incentive. All right, Captain. Are you ready to become a citizen of the United Colonies? And if you're willing to go the immoral route, your ability to earn some serious credits in each of these storylines will increase exponentially. The Crimson Fleet questline in particular can turn you into a Starfield millionaire if you maximize just how evil you're willing to be and don't mind a fair bit of blood on your hands. You stay loyal or you pay the consequences. To get started with the Crimson Fleet story, just get yourself arrested for any crime, which will kick off the events that give you an opportunity to join up with the ragtag group of killers. So, now that we are all here, it's time to get down to business. Just make sure not to refuse arrest and come along quietly, or you're in for a world of hurt. We also recommend pursuing the main story questline early on if you're hoping to stockpile credits. Without going into spoilers, there are lots of opportunities for you to make some serious money there as well. And here, a finder's fee from the authority. A perfectly reasonable amount for a discovery with this sort of potential. Another easy way to make money is by breaking the law early and often as you smuggle your way to the good life. In true Bethesda fashion, you can simply steal everything in sight and sell it to a vendor who buys stolen goods, namely the morally pliable trade authority, who will buy anything and everything you've got to offer and won't ask questions. You can find them on every major populated planet, from New Atlantis to Aquila City. We are the authority on trade in the settled systems. Stealing can definitely earn some easy credits, but due to small carrying capacities, especially early on, you'll need to be careful about what you purloin, focusing on stuff with low mass and high value. I recommend breaking into fancy places with rich people, like the nightclubs in the Pleasure City of Neon, which are filled with valuable wine bottles and more for you to nick. Finding and selling contraband is one of the most profitable crimes, and you can find a whole bunch of illicit goods by targeting illegal operations like the ecliptic mercenaries found all over the galaxy, whose starships and bases of operations regularly contain harvested organs, AI tech, mech components, and other forbidden goods to be sold for thousands of credits each. Hopefully there is something of value here. But carrying contraband will make getting around the galaxy a bit tricky, as most populated planets will want to scan your ship before letting you touch down. Please hold your current speed and heading while we scan you for contraband. To get around this, you'll need to invest in shielded cargo, a special kind of cargo hold that can allow illegal items to avoid the notice of the authorities. Most vendors don't sell shielded cargo, so you'll need to find a disreputable character willing to help you out. One such dodgy fellow can be found in the Parima system, located to the east of Alpha Centauri on the star map. 
look for a planet called Parima 3, land at the settlement of Red Mile, and go inside the building there to find a guy who answers the question, what would the prison system look like if it were a person? All right, let's get this over with. We call this guy Shady Lawn, and he'll be more than happy to set you up with some shielded cargo. Once you've bypassed a planet's scanners, Scan complete. You're clear to land. You can easily sell your contraband to the Trade Authority, just like stolen goods. If you've got access to the Crimson Fleet as part of their questline, you won't need shielded cargo at all, as you can just travel to their base on the Key, which doesn't have scanners of any kind and is filled with vendors more than willing to buy illegal goods. I was getting tired of trading with the same old faces. We were able to make about 40,000 to 50,000 credits in a single haul of contraband by raiding illegal operations. Not bad for an hour of work. Don't be a stranger. Oh, and if you're thinking you can make a killing by stealing enemy starships and selling them to your local spaceport, think again. Enemy starships must be registered with the local authorities before it can be sold, and this costs nearly as much as the ship is worth. So while you can turn a small profit this way, it's not exactly worth the squeeze. Finally, you shouldn't sleep on mission boards. Located throughout the galaxy, each major faction has an endless number of quests that can be grabbed and completed, and most of these pay out pretty good for missions that don't require a ton of time or effort on your part. To grab some quests, find the kiosk located in the vicinity of each faction, like Constellations missions that can be grabbed in the Lodge, or Freestar Collective's bounties that you'll find in Aquila City. Once you complete these missions, a fresh batch will become available to you. The downside is that they're mostly chores that might send you out to rob a ship on behalf of the Crimson Fleet or kill a spacer outlaw on some backwater world for the Freestar Collective. But you'll usually get a couple thousand credits for the effort, which is a pretty darn good return on your investment. If you're trying to maximize value, we recommend running missions for the Crimson Fleet, which pay out four to 9,000 credits each. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, you're in it for the long haul. The smuggling missions in particular are efficient because they only require fast traveling from one planet to another to deliver stolen goods. That cost versus time investment is extremely favorable for entrepreneurial spacefarers. And there you have it. These are the best ways we found to make money in Starfield. For more, check out our extensive guide on how to build a starship in Starfield and our list of things that Starfield doesn't tell you. And for everything else, keep grav jumping with IGN.